Yo, 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 what is up guys? Still raining here in beautiful New Jersey. This is awesome. And, um, uh, sick burp. And uh, I'm just riding home now from getting some food with a buddy of mine. And I figured I'd make this video on how to buy a Crown Victoria Police Interceptor. And I'm pretty biased because I've only bought one so far, but I've looked at a lot. I've done a lot of research on a bunch of Crown Vicks. I've done a lot of research on a lot of cars in general. And I'm pretty sure I got a down pat on how to accurately buy the best car Crown Vic that you can. So there's two options you have when looking into buying Crown Vicks. Option number one, you buy from a police auction or an auction in your town and then you either have to register for a auction website or you have to register for a uh, auction like sign up thing for online. It's either govdeals.com or gov, usgovbids.com. There are two different websites that you could use to auction your uh, town or your government agency around you that's selling their cars. And um, they both come with fees, they both come with added taxes and stuff, but they're, they're really good ways to get options to cars that you normally wouldn't have the option to get, except through a private seller that went to the auction and bought it themselves. Um, that van went, I thought that was subtle. Oh, sick, wipers on, no lights on, standard. There's literally never anybody at this turn. Why am I stuck here? Okay, I'm over it. So, that's option one. You can go through the auction, or you can go through private seller and go through eBay, through Craigslist, through OfferUp, through LetGo, and you can find cars there. Um, I lied, there's three options. Or you can go through Facebook Marketplace. So, with all of these options, it's kind of, it's hit or miss on each one of them. Because with the police auctions, you only get to see the cars, you get to hear the cars, you don't really get to drive them, you don't really get to operate them. You might be able to turn them on in some auctions, but for the most part, you just see what you get is what you what you get. And uh, they don't really have like the records available for every auction on what the what was done to the car, what the mechanics did, and all that. So that's kind of a negative about the auctions because you kind of buy a car without test driving it or seeing really what's wrong with it if any possibilities are wrong with it but again you're 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 paying a pretty cheap price for the car so that's i mean you kind of have to pick and choose your battle with that one the other thing is uh with craigslist you're buying a car that somebody probably already bought from an auction, so they don't know what, anything about it. They don't know what's wrong with it. They don't know really much about it. You're going to be paying more than they bought it for, obviously, because they bought it from the auction and they're trying to get rid of it. So you got to kind of look out for that. Um, on Craigslist, people aren't too truthful when it comes to you know auction cars or police cars because of how they're used they'll say oh yeah low miles low idle miles but the transmission's good engine's good but you could be like me i bought this car at 120,000 and at 128,000 i was driving with overdrive off for the longest time because the transmission was going bad on it and it wasn't good anymore even though i have all the paperwork that this car went through and i have everything that says that it had a new transmission put in it from jasper in 2008 blah 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 still didn't really let me know of the uh, problems that this car was gonna have so you gotta look out for that on craigslist too because it's kind of you know buy uh you're sold as is also um when you're when you're looking to buy these cars you want to look at the body if your body is beat up uh the car itself is probably going to beat up be beat up if the body is something that you don't really care about that's a bonus for sure because these cars are put through a lot of different things so if you don't really care about the body condition and stuff like that then you're gonna get a much better car for the price because what really matters with these cars is the is the transmission and the engine and make sure that it goes forward and reverse and gets you from point a to point b but the body doesn't matter that's really good actually so 
uh, be, you'll be on the lookout for the bodies because like I said they do have dings they'll sometimes have paint marks on them they'll sometimes have sticker uh, residue on them from the police department and stuff uh, sometimes they'll have holes in them from antennas sometimes they'll have holes from you know the spotlight or you know anything like that um, another thing to look out for is the transmissions all the times uh, these cars the transmissions go so rapidly so if you are going to buy a car from the auction just know that you might have to put a transmission in it so if you're good at rebuilding transmissions or you know somebody that likes to rebuild transmissions become very good friends with them because you're you're going to need them so definitely keep your eye out for that um if you're buying from a private seller you can usually get it for pretty cheap unless they're just ridiculous with their prices because they know a lot of people know that these cars ain't going to sell for much more than they they bought them for because every anyone can get them they're everywhere every single police auction has them you know they're, they're not a hot commodity and they're just you know a two thousand dollar car for the most part so me personally the way that i go about buying the crown vix or any cars or motorcycles for that matter is i go right off craigslist i'm registered on two different auction sites i haven't used them yet but i know the cars that are on the auctions are really really nice cars and you can get them for pennies on the dollar hands down if you don't believe me just check out east coast classics uh youtube channel the guy chris over there does a great job with um all the different types of auctions all the different types of prices and how to go about getting the best bang for your buck when it comes to buying cars um but yeah i usually stick with craigslist craigslist is a great uh window of opportunity and facebook marketplace is a great window of opportunity it's just you kind of know a little bit of what you're getting at people are more uh ready to work with the price for you and stuff like that so i always i always use craigslist this car was 2500 bucks i bought it for 2000 it was well worth the money and for me that's just that's just the easiest way I go about it. It's just for me it's very simple to go through Craigslist rather than anything else. And like I said, you can get you know a lot of bang for your buck. Come on bro. You were just hauling ass through there. Now you're gonna make me wait. So that was just a quick video on your best options on where to find Crown Fix. Number one's definitely Craigslist. Number two, um, Number two for sure is Facebook Marketplace. And number three I would go to is the auction sites. If you want to pay the fees and if you want to take the chance, auction sites are definitely your best bet. I'm going to order my Chick-fil-A and I'll see you guys next time. See ya.